Symbol of commitment. After the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. You know, my people used to send me gifts too, so I wouldn't forget home. But after the birth of my son, but I still can't read it from here. Let's head back down. I thought I'd feel peace by breaking it. But I feel nothing. Perhaps what you seek cannot be found in a circlet. <laughs> The other side of this door scare me most. The most difficult battles are fought within, but this battle, you will not fight alone. Are you ready? Yes. There it is. My final tie to Asgard. We drove that sword into the pillar together. The sword was forged for the ceremony. The symbol of our union. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. My bond to my son. To the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too. The 
the pain he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword no longer holds our legacy. But it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it. Anything interesting, brother? I suppose it's on to the next battle now. Yes. You won an important one today. I may. Since when have you ever asked for permission? It's just... I owe you my life, such as it is. And I... I caused you so much pain. Put you in a terrible situation. For that, Freya, I am truly sorry. I want to get in that boat. I know. But I swear to do better by you nonetheless. Anything you ask, consider it done. I'm forever in your debt. I appreciate that. Even if you can't help being an obnoxious leader. I'm afraid I'll never know how to stop doing that, Your Majesty. Oh! <laughs> 
something. Too much for that boat. You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I've had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. Or say their markings. Boonhield's companions can't be that far ahead. Look what they've done to this place. You're free, little one. All Lunda's armor taken care of, as well as a broad little spear. Should we return them to her? Sigil arrows won't work on this.
Good thing you learned the runes, brother. Over there. Those are the lost Sather spirits. Friends of Gunhu. They don't look very friendly anymore, do they? Are you done? the last of them damn it i knew these souls i would have thought them smarter than to meddle with sather magic they were desperate and now they are dead good riddance you blame yourself and it will not lessen your pain let's return to gunhil unless you'd like to condescend more i do not I wish things had gone differently, but they Anything illuminating? We'll have to find a way through this debris.
Sigil arrows won't work on this. What did you find? Is it done? Are they dead? It is done. Your friends are at peace. Good. And... I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake, but it was ours to make, not yours to prevent, even if you have been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhil. Goodbye, my goddess. Kratos, thank you for taking the time to help my people. I help no one. They were already dead. Oh, but you did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has eased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. It will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out there. You always know how to end on a cheery note, brother. <laughs> I knew we'd left something behind. Lunda. Right. Business time. Here. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elsa's been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite. What? Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mamir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. That's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. This crest. It's mine.
Well, brother, before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense Don't than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? <laughs> and you tell that one-eyed nutsucker he owes me one! Fight me now and eternally! Well, looky there. Glad you could make the trip, your goddessness. <laughs> Hello! Good to see the chimes so, work. this whole spectral squirrel business. You can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral form still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, Nick <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Well, stay safe, everyone. Talks to squirrels now, huh? Anyways, mm, I don't rightly know who's yelling at who in there, but I figure they both got it coming.